Hey guys, it's me, Sapio Gray. We are back with another episode of The Walking Previously Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. So let's watch the recap so we can get on episode 3. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home as a family. Oh, I actually really forgot that he died. I really did. I could touch it now. Why did it say tree and not butterfly? You about done over there? You wanna yeah, fight? One second. Thanks I'm for coming fighter. with me. It's scary out here. I'm a fighter. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you too. Uh, okay. Thing. Everything come out all right, girls? That's weird to ask. Troy, get him tied up. Will do. I don't like how he said that. Away, probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. It ain't polite to kidnap us. Has anyone ever taught you that? <laughs> no, stop! Oh, don't hit one. my friend! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Oh no, you're already Leave killed. her alone! I'ma kill him. <laughs> if they give me the options, kill him. Tie I'm her up him. and throw her in with the rest of them. <laughs> I wanna kill him. I really do. Ha! <laughs> I'm just slapping Clementine like that. Yeah. Well, I'ma take your gun. And I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Yeah, he did. He hurt me good. Not good, but yeah, you, you guys get what I'm saying. In harm's way. So quiet. You guys don't want to sing like the slave songs or something. <laughs> Your fingers are broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, freaking Carlos. I wonder where Luke is though. Like I really do. I hope he didn't die. He was a good man. He was my favorite after them all. All right, we gotta do something. Come on, anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. What good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp, anything that can help. A, a fucking, I don't know, anything. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Sit down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. 
Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. Mm -hmm. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's a different Ben. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. True, true. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Oh. It's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. I'm going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, <laughs> the adults are talking. Is that what this is? Oh, really? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Shut up, Doc. This ain't Freaking your call. Kidding. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? I mean, Kenny, Kenny you've been crazy. Kenny, please, just... Listen this is to bad plan, but yeah, hey, I'm okay. with you. I I'm rather die. I'll, <laughs> I'm rather do die. what I can. All right, it's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right, everybody, run. Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? <laughs> so okay. Did he get I knocked think out? So. Oh, what hit me? <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> Same way, shit. All right, up and at him. That was hilarious. <laughs> Fuck! How'd you get your restraints off? Uh, Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Uh, now, that's hilarious, I though. I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring. I really cannot back. help myself a laugh. They left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. Take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Why couldn't you just leave us alone? Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of Come on, I need you for something. And then wait until morning. We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. We need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... I got you, Sarah. He'll be back. When? I don't know. But he will come back. Just grow Thanks, up Clem. already. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a dick. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. 
Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. Oh. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Edgy! I'm He's so rigid. sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us. Oh. When we ran away. No. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to. Then he fell. And everybody kept running. Ooh. I know he had both his arms then. See so you guys they got left me the man working behind. outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so if sorry. If only we were that Look, fast it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Bonnie, she seems to. But, uh, Merry Christmas, you guys. All you right, guys let me introduce you. We were first. with them when we got caught. Instead hey, I'm Black Reggie. War. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey, yeah. Hello, who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. This it's very out. nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Who's Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. What a jerk. Clementine, please, you haven't even met him yet. Oh, she's not wrong. No problem. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking <laughs> around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's ah, so best she was stare. getting through the walkers. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, last night. we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's and... not a competition. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just 
trying not to cause any trouble. At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great mm -hmm. guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. True. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna talk to some people Look, real quick. the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Get this water over by the benches. Ah, I didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot, and I have to wriggle our way out. But then Reggie will get in trouble. If you don't make a bunch of noise, I'm sure he'll be fine. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry I about don't... Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. I'm not... I don't want to loot. I don't want to do that. I really don't. I just want to talk to people. Walker just Sorry. snuck up on you, huh? Yep. I was, uh, distracted. I'll be back, guys. Just was... I'm gonna Hello? talk to Mike. Get lost. Will you please talk to me? No. Get out of here. I just Go need... away. <laughs> and it won't let me know. I guess. Can't anything over here? No. Nothing. At all. Like nothing, nothing. Are you stupid? I guess I have to go over here now. I don't want to mess with that. How can he see? Ooh, there's a ladder. How can he see if we're by here? What about the rope? Am I- I really hope that I'm like learning some stuff instead of her just being like, Oh, let me just look at this and look at this. Don't ask why, for some reason, I just started doing an accent. This place seems pretty secure. I don't want to touch it. Can I not touch it? Uh, I'm, I'm Reggie, I hope you're not really trying, my man. But this game's like, nah, you gotta do this. I'm like, I don't wanna, but... <clears throat> I guess I gotta. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Okay, am I done now? Oh, wait, I can talk to Kenny. <laughs> Take any. Well, out with it. Do you see any way out of here? The fences <laughs> seem pretty strong. Yeah, they do. All right. A whole house full of building supplies? I guess it ought to be. Hi. Dad! That'd be funny if you shot. All him. right, go the Wait, fuck to I'm sleep. Fine. I'm shooting the first one of y'all yeah, I see wandering point. around before sunup. Troy, where's Alvin? Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You Excuse up for me. it? Yeah. It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. I get some sleep. We'll need it. Sorry guys, someone's playing music out in my living room, so I'm summoning it. Hi. 
What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. <clears throat> Kenny. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it Can't must be earned. That. Kenneth will be taking over Reggie's duties outside the walls, and Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I. Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S um. Sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. Oh. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. I'ma smack him. I'ma I'm kill him. I'm not sure with my hand that I... Could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Oh, I'm, I would have talked again, but like, you know what? F you. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. I want to take the glasses off. Oh, do it. Oh! <laughs> At least you did a front hand, not back hand. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos oh, to his post. I'll kill him. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! Damn this thing! Oh shit! Clementine. I should like take notice that. Who's this? She's one of the new people. Fall. She was with right. Carlos and Sarah. Ugh, and... Sarah, I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hi, Bonnie. I may have treated Bonnie hard. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I guess you want to I talk. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. And I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And 
I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. Mm. Uh, How was your first night in the yard? Horrible. I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Why, <laughs> probably. I don't know. I never been to prison. Uh -huh. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. Ah. Uh. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you leave, I mean? If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. It's Take the situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. No. Or what if I knew where it was? I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. No. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. But what girl? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Hmm. Huh? What do you think? I found That's it at the hideous. lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's kind of ugly. Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Havia. <laughs> what? Never mind. I'll see you I later. Mean, I literally time. just called it Come ugly, on. so. Follow me. Come on. Hmm. Greenhouse. I should probably let that and then set that on fire. Cause why not? You feel me? Screw them over. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't okay. touch anything. I won't. I mean, I probably will, but is that is that freaking Sarah crying? Oh, hi, Sarah. Hey. Mm. Are you okay? I know it's... It's gotta be hard. Yeah. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. Carver so, is the bad guy. in a guy. weird way... Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you deserved it. It looked like it. It really did. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why You're people welcome. have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. It's just like that sometimes, honestly. Oh, hey, Reggie. Don't mess this up. 
Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Davia. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Mm. Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? I don't know. Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. She's a baby. There's no helping her. Whoa, that's harsh, kid. I think if Bill did that to me, I'd cry a little too. And you're a baby Look, too then. Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Okay. I will punch you. That was awkward. Yeah. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Good. Gosh. This one time when me and my friend were at a restaurant and everything, the owner of the restaurant like, came up to stuff. He's like, so, how you kids doing? And me and my friend, we almost got mad instantly. Like, to you, when you're in your 70s, yeah, we may be kids, but we're not kids, dog. Hey. I guess I'll help her out. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no! You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Hmm. <laughs> Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, so... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, uh, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? Ooh. But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I, I tried to help you out, Reggie. Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Yup. Well, I guess I can move right on. What's wrong, Sarah? She just wants to jump. I hope she doesn't, though. Her dad would be sad. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of no. chances. Please, Bill. No! 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 Please! Ah! Oh. Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think Can about that him? the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. I want to I oh. kill him. I want to kill him. I really do. Like, dude, he literally made one mistake oh hey so they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion real simple just take this over to them that jacket looks real nice I don't know what Tavia's talking about what's wrong Clem you all right Reggie Reggie's dead what what are you talking about 
Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just it an accident. Have. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I don't care. I we told you no one's safe happened. here. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Mm. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. I want to kill Troy, too. Only person I really want to leave alive is Bonnie. That's not secure at all, guys. Just I ain't nobody's laborer. That. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? What did you... <laughs> shit! Fucking grab something! Well, there's a blanket here. <laughs> it's like a bean bag. Or a boxing thing. Haha, <laughs> yes. Old left stick. Which way? I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing I'm going the right way. Because you know this thing with these people. I got you. Ha <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Trip and clump. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. It's easy, Clem. It's easy, see? Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! You think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? I mean, you could just throw them out and have them get eaten. Oh, oopsie daisy. Is that Luke? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. That's Luke. I don't want to fight. No! Stop! Hey! Hey! It's me! Luke! Okay, just calm down. I'm all this way. This is this is the way. I wanna hit him. <laughs> I really I was did. Worried. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, this is the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards. Watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. 
When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. Use that. It's hard to say, really, but I, I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. We could wipe ourselves with stuff. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, yeah, I'll, get, I'll, get, you I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. Yeah, and just let you. everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio <laughs> you think I wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! How do I even get to the office, huh? Did you ever ask me that, huh? Like I know? Let's see. Gosh darn it! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't. I ripped my wait. hole again. So <laughs> you <laughs> should probably go. Rebecca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. My freaking hole got ripped more. Did he kill Alvin? Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? Couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Do you think I really care? No, no I ain't care. I'm gonna kill him. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. Sure he did. was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. Mm -hmm. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. It is. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? Mm. I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? Oh, he did, but... Look where he landed. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. 
I realized that back in that cabin, what? you were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's Heck what we yeah, need. Dude. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this hurt that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Okay, I still need to get a walkie-talkie. As we all know what happened this morning, I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. A friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What no. is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really sure. loud. The PA system Carver is always oh. using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait mm. for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. See? That'd okay, cool. so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do I mean, you it'd be mean like exactly? that sometimes. When you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. 
Where the hell did she come from? She's been here. She's chill. I like her. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Let's do it. Hopefully it won't break. Try to hurry, all right? I might need to I grab that. I don't think that. they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Oh, ho. they're We're right in there. trouble. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end off the episode right there. Um, this was a little Christmas special doing both of them on the same day. But we'll be back tomorrow with God of War and then the next day, uh, The Walking Dead. But I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Please do leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, do stuff like that. As always, one, I do hope that you like this butterfly. But as always, please stay safe and peace out, guys.